You can be a partaker of this divine healing you're watching right now. Just connect by faith. Faith and believing. That is our connection. Please deliver me. Please deliver, deliver me in the name of Jesus. I have an asthma. Please deliver me. Watch the screen of your television. We just heard a desperate cry for healing from the problem of asthma. And see what God Almighty is doing. Watch what is happening in the name of Jesus Christ. Healing is at work. Testimony of a lady from Israel killed of asthma. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Emmanuel, Elohim itanu, Allah ma'ana, God with us. My name is Marianne Rashid Nwoye. I am originally, I come from Nazareth. I live in Israel. Then the person beside me is my beloved husband, Daniel Nwoye. He's from Nigeria. The people beside me are all my beloved family, the Igbo Nigerian family. <laughs> we came here to give our testimony about what happened to us in the second day in Nazareth, Israel. Before when I was a child, I had asthma. All my life, I had asthma and affected me. it affected my life very much. It affected my physical life. It affected my social life. I could not make any sports. Even when I was a child, I could not make anything that will request effort because I will always have asthma attack immediately. And when I have asthma attack, it, like I cannot move again. I have to take machine all the time. And in the night, I will be having a lot of problems in, to sleep. I could not sleep even one hour in a row because something like will be choking me. I will be like breathless in the middle of the night. I wake up, I sleep a little bit, I wake up. The asthma was affecting my life completely. When, when uh, TB Joshua came to Nazareth, I could not believe. And my husband will tell you why. Because we've been watching Emmanuel TV for more than 10 years. And we were not able to come to Nigeria. And then when we heard that he's coming to Nazareth, we said, God is sending him especially for us. He's coming to the place of Jesus' birth and living. He was living in Nazareth for 30 years. And he came to, to visit us. Like we saw like Jesus himself his best messenger is coming to us. Hallelujah. We had the privilege to be in the prayer line the second day, and I was using the machine, and even to climb down the stairs from, the, from that uh, auditorium, 
It was very hard for me. I had to use the machine all the time. When the man of God touched me, something came out of me and I felt free. I could not control it. I fell down and when I wake up, something like heavy came out from me and I could really breathe very, very, very well. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Since then, I am jogging every day, one hour. I am having a good night's sleep. And I am having a good life. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Many times we went, I was hospitalized. They will say, take this medication, take this medication. They take this machine. This is the only solution. You have to live with it. It is unbearable. How can a child stay in the house and have machine all the time? As an adult, I could not move. And they said, no solution. There is no solution. This is the only solution we can give you. Take this machine inhaler and take this machine, and you have to live with it. You have to reduce all the efforts. You don't have to make anything that will cause you this uh, asthma attack. Asthma attack will be very difficult, and there is no solution for it. I, was, I gave up on any solution that medical, normal medicine will give me. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? I want to say my, my advice for the people who are Hebrew speakers and Arabic speakers all over the world. And it is exactly what I said in then. Jesus is alive. Elohim adayin chai. Yeshua HaMashiach chai. כל מי שמבין עברית, ישוע המשיח חי, באמת הוא חי. הללויה. ובלערבי, רחה אולקו, ישוע עייש, ישוע חי, אלהנע, אלה אחיה, אלהנע חי, צונע אל מעוזיזת, לליום, עד היום הוא עושה ניסים, ישוע המשיח עד היום הוא עושה ניסים. Jesus, until today, he is he's making miracles. He's a miracle-working God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. I have a lumbar consciousness. Over 18 years, I have suffered for this. I cannot work. I, I have suffered. <laughs> Healing is still taking place, and glory be to God, the Thank man has Jesus. been healed. You can see him exercising. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel, my name is um, Mr. Ngoye Daniel. I'm um, a Nigerian, residing in Israel. This is Mariana, my, Dr. Mariana Ngoye. She's my lovely wife. The people beside me is my family, okay. my brothers and uh, my uncles. The problem my wife has is very difficult for Britain. This asthma has caused her a lot of pain, crush, it crumble everything, even in, in the house, in the night, I must, when she is not sleeping, I myself could not sleep. And also it affects the children because they are too small. So even in her job, as she is working in the ministry, so she also affected her in that area. So in every time she thinks, uh, I always encourage her that let her get patient. Since God will take control. She went to hospital, they give her machine, told her that uh, there's nothing you can do again only to live with this machine. Mm. So every time we, apply, we plan that we will come to synagogue as we are watching and seeing what God used the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, do to the man life, changing, every, changing people, changing nation, and changing the whole world. When after we are watching all this, anyway, it is my wife that make me to, to know the synagogue of all nations, to tell the truth. 
The, she's the first one who introduced me that the uh, so so and so this I said from Nigeria. This is from 2009. You mean your wife, who is a Nazarene, an Israel, Israeli, is the one that made you to know about the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Nigeria? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Say it again. It is my wife from Nazareth. Israel is the one because she always liked to chat on the internet and when she when she saw Ibo man, she loved them the way she loved me. So from then she got to know the synagogue of all nations. From then she introduced it to this to me. And that time, so that time, 24 hours, we are watching Emmanuel TV. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Three days before TB Joshua and the Manor TV uh, visit Israel, we saw the announcement. So I went, what I told my wife that it is for our sake that God sent uh, the prophet to us. So when the, the day come, my wife told me that uh, even the two days she has to be there, you don't want to miss anyone. When we uh, arrange in prayer line, so when the uh, man of God come closer to my wife, my wife hold all her machine and uh, all the healer. So she shout, man of God, please heal me, uh, heal me, Jesus, heal me, heal me, Jesus. So she speak it in, her, in the Hebrew language. After the man of God pray for her and uh, she, according to her, she told me that something heavy come out from her. She, her breath, her inside become free. So she can breathe. You will see how she breathe a heavy breath that she is confirmed that she is free. Hmm. And everybody there is marvel. Hmm. All the Nazareth shake for this. I'm telling you the truth. All the Nazareth shake for the, because they never see. After Jesus gone, they never see what called miracle. This is the first time they say that they ask. So they ask, so this Bible, is it so it is real? From within, everywhere we pass, they will stop us. Yeah, because they know her a lot. She is a choir. We are in the south. Where we are, where she got a job, where we are, li we live, but we are going there. So, but uh, her family is from Nazareth, and we are visiting there. She grew up there. She everything she attend there. Everything is totally changed. Many people are calling. Many people are watching. Even till now, they are sick watching the video and they come to her and calling her in the phone. So is, so is it true? Uh, what they want us to know this because what they see, they never see this, but they never expect this in their life. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? So my wife is healed and I'm self also healed. And I have also my testimony because I also arrange in prayer line that day. My problem is I have a spine Called problem. I have this over 18 years. It comes and go. But from last year, I was arranged in hospital in emergency room. They took me and make all the stress. They told me that uh, there is no option. I cannot stand up. I'm crippled on the floor. I cannot stand up. They say that the only, so the only thing they can do now is to make a surgery. That my, my layer, the bone between my back, give a gap. So my nerve enter in the middle. When it, is, it, hit, it hit the bone, the bone hit it, and all my body, all my hip to my leg are paralyzed. So when they book me for pressure, operation, my wife told me that uh, he cannot allow me to go for this because it is 50-50.
I fail in a bad doctor, if I if they didn't succeed, I will be using a wheelchair no more again. She told me that uh, the only thing that uh, we have to come to synagogue of all nations. So all this time, I come see a man of God in the dream. She come pray for me when I was arranged in the prayer line. I wear, that time also, I wear a normal crescent. Okay. Because this is the word the, doc the doctor gave me. I have to be using as of now mm. to hold myself so that I can go get up easily, gradually to go to uh, toilet or to take shower. I cannot stay for, like this. I cannot stay, stand like this. The moment is coming close to me. I stretch my eyes, looking at his eyes. So he stretched his hand to pray for me. Something heavy just came out for me. He touched me, he touched me as he, he prayed for me and removed the belt. He told me, get up. Immediately I get up. I become like a, as light as, as a person who was born today. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Emmanuel. Elohim itano Yeshua itano. God, we, God with us. To be honest with you, I am very popular in Nazareth because all my life I was a singer. So my face was familiar. I was a singer in the church, a soloist. And uh, many, I will be going, they will be inviting me from many churches, also traditional churches. They never saw, they, they, uh, they will pray, but they never know what is the meaning of alive, the, spirit, the Holy Spirit who is living, who is alive. They will be praying just traditional. I myself was praying just traditional. I didn't know what is the meaning of the living God, the living Holy Spirit. And when, when this thing happened in, uh, in Nazareth, everybody knew me. My family, my friends, every, all the people that know me, they were shocked by, because they know me and they know this problem that I am having since I was a child. And they were very shocked. They were amazed. And I am a living testimony that Jesus is alive. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. I would like to sing about a very beautiful song that came to me after I was delivered. Jesus has delivered me. Anshid nashid al-hurriya Wa al-ishq min al-abudiya Nil nasada abadiya Harrarni yasu Anshid nashid al-hurriya والعتق من العبودية نلنا سعادة بدية حررنا يسوع حررنا يسوع حررنا يسوع من عبودية إبليس حررنا يسوع Thank you. And, and it means that Jesus has delivered me from being enslaved by Satan. Jesus is the, the free, free, put us free. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. That was a wonderful rendition. And we give glory to God Almighty that you are here again to glorify God with a wonderful gift he has given you to praise his holy name. Thank you.